Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine. Good evening. Hello, good evening, hello, Adriana. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> okay, let's begin. Let's begin. We are going to practice with the narrative tenses, right? Very good. Okay. Did you do homework? No. Did you do homework? Um, um, no. <laughs> yes, yes. Work on the platform. Okay. <laughs> That's homework. <laughs> okay, very good. Nice here. Okay, pass perfect. Um, Miss Lea, can you please read this? Okay, give me one moment, please, because I leave the, I guess, here. Okay, okay, okay. Past perfect. Use the past perfect tenses in English for past events that happened before other past events. Okay, events, events. E events, yes. events. Yes. By the time we arrived at the train station, the, the train had already left very good so which one happened first that you got to the train station or that the train left which one was first and have already left yeah thank you very much the train had already left by the time we arrive at the train station okay very good okay next example who wants to continue? Thank you, Adriana. Okay. When I woke up, I saw that my husband had made breakfast. Oh, wow. That was wonderful. Yes. Okay. So first, your husband made breakfast. And second, you woke up. And breakfast was ready. Right? Yes. Okay, who wants to do number three, the third example? I'll do it. Thank you. Five minutes after leaving my house, I realized I'd forgotten to lock the front door. Oh my goodness, imagine that. Okay, thank you very much. Do you see the context in here? Yes, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's see here. Um, who wants to help me, please? We're going to remember here. Me. Thank you. Use the past perfect to show that one past action happened before another past action. Okay. I wasn't able to pay for lunch because I have left my wallet at work. Very good. So first, I forgot my wallet. Second, when I finished my lunch time, I, I was not able to pay because I didn't have my wallet with me, right? So uh, this is now and this is the past. First, I had left the wallet. And second, we couldn't pay, right? Okay. Very good. First exercise before we move to the narrative tenses. Okay, let's see. Combine the two ideas into one with a past event and a past perfect event. So what I need you to do is to analyze the two sentences that you have here and then decide which one occurred first. The one that occurred first, it's the one that you are going to use in the past perfect structure. And the other one, it's going to be either in the simple past or in the past continuous. It depends on the context, all right? Okay, do we have our screenshot? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, let's go, let's do it, very good. Let's see here, nice, nice, very good. Okay. Okay. Groups of two people. Can we please click on join? Thank you.
Okay. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Aide, did you receive your invitation? I did. Could you please confirm with me if you received your invitation? Okay, I will move Adriana. Okay, Erika, I will send you an invitation. Thank you. Good night. Good evening. Okay, there we go. There we go. I did. Okay. Yeah, very good, very good. Are we done? Yes, right? No. No. Oh my no. god. Oh my god. Okay. But but let's do it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do it together. Okay. Let's go then. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's begin. 
who wants to read the example? The museum closed a thief stole a famous painting earlier. Herbert, can you please help me? That is the example. With the example? With the, yes, and then you okay. continue. Uh -huh. uh, okay, the museum closed because a thief had stolen a famous painting earlier. Nice, very good. Can you please do number two? Okay, we finish cleaning the house. Yes. Then our guest arrive. Okay. So we figured out the correct answer for this one is we have finished cleaning the house when our guests arrive. Arrive. Okay, do you agree? Very good. Yes. Yes, right? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, can you please let me see? Manuel. Two. Oh, yes, yes. Two. Number two. Thank you. Number Ooh. three. Number, number three. three. Yeah. Number three. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Someone robbed Man my house yesterday. Okay. I left the window open. My God. <clears throat> there is. Someone robbed my house yesterday. Because I left the window open. Because I had left. I had, I had, I had, I had left I had the left. window open. Yeah, very good. That was first, right? Very good. Yes. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, let me see. Jose Armando? Number four, please. Yes. Um, okay. And there was no food in the house because we have forgotten to stop at the supermarket. Oh my God, yes. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Jaime, can you please? Number five. Hey, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. I called her three times. She finally answered. Okay. Okay, that, that is like the, the two sentences. Okay. Okay. Can you please join them together? Uh, I, I, I really just, just uh, get in the, in the class. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't, okay. Don't the, we the, are, the yes, we are practicing with the past perfect, but now we are combining the three tenses. So in here, we need to identify which event occurred first and then in that event we are going to use the past perfect then for the second event we are using either the simple past or the past continuous which one uh, was first in here uh, maybe um, she finally answered to me that was uh, first past sorry uh, which one happened first? I, I call. Okay. I call to her. Okay. To and her. then you use the past perfect in here. I. I was called. I had. I have. I have. I have. I called three, three. Called her three times. Yes. Thank you. I had called. Called. Her three times when she finally answered yeah when you are using the linking right word when she finally answered yes thank you very much thank you. okay erica could you please number six okay i knew about the problem because your brother had told me about it Oh my God, imagine my brother. <laughs> okay, yeah, very good, super nice. Okay, so we have here, we had finished cleaning the house when our guests arrived. And then we have number um, three, someone broke my house yesterday because I had left the window open, right? There was no food in the house because we had forgotten to stop at the supermarket. As you said before, I had called her three times when she finally answered. And the last, the last one, as Erika said, I knew about the problem because your brother had told me about it. Very good. Super nice. 
Okay, so let's continue here. So as we mentioned before, we have here the combination of the three tenses, and then we are going to have the narrative tense, right? Let's see here. I saw an accident on the road when I was coming to work this morning. Two cars had crashed on Caminos de Linca Avenue. So we have here, before that, right? Two cars had crashed. We are using the past perfect. After that, I saw an accident. That's the past simple and that is our main event, remember? And at the same time, I was coming, which is our past continuous, right? Are we okay with this example? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so let's outline the main ideas in here. Let's go, let's summarize here. Past simple. Let's go over the past simple. Jaime, could you please read this? Thank you. It is used with, with short. Quickly finish action and happenings and long situation. Yes, that's quick, right? It started and it finished. It's quick, right? Very good. And it has a definite time. You can say yesterday. You can say last year. You can say last Monday, right? It's definite time. Two minutes ago, that's definite time as well. All right, past simple. Uh, Miss Leah, could you please continue? Okay, past simple. Yesterday I went to the cinema. He lived in uh, Tenerife for 30 years. Yes, very good. Okay, let's see. Susana, could you please help me out? Past simple. It is also used in history. Stories. No, stories. Uh, stories. Stories. And, and descriptions, descriptions of past events. Events. Was upon a time events. Was upon a there was sorry, there was a little girl. Yes. Once upon a time there was a little girl, right? Okay, so we're using them in stories as well. Okay, fairy, let's see. Fairy, like a fairy tale. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like a fairy tale. Okay, past simple, we continue here. We are summarizing. Herbert, can you please help me? Yes, uh, past simple, it is used with words which refer to finished periods of time. Yes. Yesterday, last year, last week, two years ago, etc. Very good, so it's definite, right? Yes. Finished periods of time. Thank you. Okay, now let's move on. Let's go to the past continuous then here. Okay, let me see who wants to help me. Thank you, Christopher. Okay, past continuous. We use it to express that something was happening in a particular moment in the past. Yesterday, I was painting my bedroom very good that in that is an ongoing activity right it lasted a period of time thank you very much okay let's see adriana could you please yes oh my god uh-huh past continuous it is used to talk about back background events related to other past events i was having coffee when the telephone rang and then you mentioned this before the past continuous usually is interrupted by a simple past uh, event, right? Or, or action. Very good. Uh, let me see here. Jaime, could you please help me out again? Okay, uh, past continuous. Yes. It is usually to talk about temporary situation that happened in the past. In 1995, he he was living in Barcelona. Yes, temporary situation, right? That's uh -huh. a temporary situation. Okay. Manuel, could you please? Yes. Uh, past continuous. It is used to emphasize something said by another person reporting. John 
was saying that the postcard never arrived. Very good. So you are emphasizing, right? Good. Okay. Let me see. Adriana, could you please again? Yes. Past continuous, it is used with always to talk about surprising or annoying heights. When he was a child, he was always jumping and running. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's see here. Um, past yes. continuous, yeah, thank you. Past continuous, it is used with anticipated facts that never occurred. That never occurred, yes. Occurred. That never occurred. We were getting married but we had a terrible argument. 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 Okay, very good. So they never got married, right? We were getting married, but we had a terrible, <laughs> terrible argument. Okay. okay. So <laughs> happy I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Excuse me. In in that situation, don't can use the simple past. For example, we were mm, married on that's it or get we were getting married or we got married if you okay. say okay, okay if you say we got married that means that it happened that happened uh, yes yeah. and in past. here yes exactly simple past but in here that means that it Almost. was about to happen but locally no no i'm sorry but then Something happened, and uh, uh, at the end, uh, it was like uh, never occurred, as mm -hmm. it says in here. Do you see the difference in in those contexts? Yeah, so so. Okay, mm -hmm. if you use the simple past, that means that it happened, right? But here you are like stating a background, a situation that. Um, you say that it, it was going to happen, but mm -hmm. never happened at the end because oh, they I had the, the argument. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's like you were, you were planning to get married, but something happened. Yes, exactly. After. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's see here. Julio, welcome. Let's see. Pass continuous. Julio, Julio, continue, please. Pass continuous. Read. Let's continue. Uh, remember? Remember remember that some verbs don't take progressive tenses. Very good. Know, believe, think, be, etc. Yes, very good. What's the difference? Here uh, we can go over the meaning, right? You have two groups of verbs in here. Verbs that express action, physical activity, or verbs that express mental activity. For example, need. Need is something that is in your mind, right? Want. Want is something that is in your mind. Love as well is in your mind. So those verbs, they are not uh, taking this, this um, progressive, right, form. Okay, let's see here. Now, let's move to past perfect. We are summarizing. Christopher, could you please? Yeah. Thank you. Past perfect. It's an earlier past. We use it to refer to something that happened before the time we're talking about. Okay. He had studied English before he started learning French. Thank you. So it happened before. Right? Before a past event. Very good. Okay, uh, Miss Lea, could you please? Okay, past perfect. It is also used to say how long something lasted on last time. Until, until? until a point in the past. Okay. When they divorced, when they, they divorced, when they divorced, they had been married for five years. Yes, very good. Okay, so at the beginning or before they were married, but then in the past, but they divorced, right? So you see the different, let's say, context here. 
Okay, and the last one, let's say, Adriana, could you please? Yes. Past perfect continuous. It is used with an action which had continued up to the past moment we're talking about. They have been crying until their mom arrived. Yes, this is the fourth structure, but we're not going to use this in the platform, but it exists. So that is why I'm like bringing here, bringing it here because it, it does, right? Okay, so I have a, a quick video for you so we can see an example, let's say, of the combination of these um, tenses. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Ready? Yes? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. Hey, very good. Yeah. Hi guys, Dan for BBC Learning English here. This time we're going to be talking about narrative tenses, which are story tenses. And we're going to try and do the whole thing in 90 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. So, can you see this scar? I got this scar when I was about five or six years old. You see, I used to love jumping on the bed. I say used to because used to is used for a past habit, which is something that we don't do anymore in the present. Although, I still quite like jumping on the bed. Don't tell anybody, okay? So, one day after I had arrived home from school, I went upstairs to jump on the bed. Now I say had arrived because had arrived is the past perfect, and this means that the action is complete before the past simple verb. I could say I went upstairs after I had arrived home. It doesn't make any difference to the meaning. The past perfect always comes first. Now my mum was quite tired because she had been working all day, so she didn't see me go upstairs. Had been working is the past perfect continuous. It's exactly the same as the past perfect, except we use it for longer actions. She had been working all day. Anyway, while I was jumping on the bed, my mum came in and told me to get off. While I was jumping, was jumping is the past continuous. We use this for an action which is in progress at a past time. We often combine it with the past simple to give the interrupted past. While I was jumping, my mother walked in and told me to get off the bed. So, I decided to get off the bed, but instead of walking off like a sensible person, I jumped off and I went completely out of control and I bashed my head on my mother's bedside table, giving me this scar. I was quite lucky because I could have taken out both of my eyes. And I have quite lovely eyes. Oh, excuse me. I have quite lovely eyes. So, moral of the story is, always listen to your mother. Now, I use the past simple to describe the main events of the story because the past simple is the most important tense and it's at the point that we want to focus on. Did you get it? All right, guys. Dan for BBC Learning English, signing off. Okay, very good. Yes. Hmm? Quite clear, huh? What I about have a question. Yes, please. Is this video in the platform? Uh, no, but I no. can. Cool. But I can. Could I you can share, share with us? us. Yes, of in the WhatsApp course. group. Of course. Yes. Thank you. In the in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, and that's British English, huh? You love yeah. British English, I I guess. Yes. Yeah, we get it. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do it at the end of this video conference. Okay, let's continue then. Um, we had the summary and now we're going to see an example here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, here. Narrative tenses in a written story, right? Okay, let's see. I'm giving you, let's say, 60 seconds for you to read this story individually so you can get a better idea. These three lines, it's like 20 seconds. Okay, go ahead, individually, could you please? Finish? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, let me see, Christopher, could you please, could you please do me a, a favor? Could you please read this? Okay. Thank you. Narrative tenses in a written story. Bon opened the door very slowly, looked carefully around the room and walked in. The window was open 
and the curtains were blowing in the wind. Clearly, someone had left in a hurry. Okay, could you imagine this? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, what happened first? <laughs> Someone. What happened first? Yeah, very uh, good. What? Someone had left, right? Uh -huh. In a uh -huh. hurry, right? Very good. So you see here, that was the first event. That means we have here the past perfect structure. And then when you, when you use the past continuous, that is like a period of time, right? An ongoing action. And then the simple past for the main event the most important piece of information. And then we have here, the three different structures. Are we okay so far? Yes? In the, yes, the window, I have a question. Yes, please. But in the, the window was open. The open is like a adjective in that sentence. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly, uh -huh. it's an adjective. And because born opened, Exactly. And then the window was open. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay, very good. Ready for your stories? Yes, I'm sure you are. Okay, after those stories, we're coming for a conversation. But here, what's your story, right? I have here a picture, but don't pay attention because your imagination is much better than my picture. Okay, this is my picture but you can use your imagination. I'll send you to the breakout rooms. What I need you to do is to create a story. It's not going to be like complicated, right? But what I need from you is to combine, right? All the tenses. And uh, um, if you have noticed, there is no, there is, I mean, there isn't an, a specific order. It's not that you begin with the past continuous. No, you just go and you tell your story, right? Okay, let's go, let's do it. Okay. We're going to work with different people here. Good, good. Yeah, three or four participants per group. Nice, very good. Okay, please click on join. Okay. Thank you, click on join, click on join. Stories. I did, please confirm with me.
We were together. To we was drinking we a were, coffee together. We, we, were. we were drinking a coffee together. Uh, okay, let's start. We were. We were. We were together, or we were talking together. Mm -hmm. We were together talking about about our English classes. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh huh. So we must we must create a story about that picture using our imagination. Yes. We were talking about that, that maybe he's an immigrant and he went to Pakistan. He yes, worked he's a five, he, uh, he had worked five years as a waitress in order to uh, make his company. I love your imagination. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's an entrepreneur. Okay. He's an entrepreneur. Yeah, but he's a, a, working as a waiter. Remember that waitress is for ah, a woman, okay. right? I and now we have the third. Yeah, we have waitress for a woman, waiter uh -huh. for a man, and we have wait person either or, right? Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue. Okay. His name is. Hello, teacher. Hello. Do you want to hear our, our Yes, work? I'm looking okay. forward to hear your story. <laughs> okay. I was the first one. <clears throat> so I have to begin. I opened my bakery when I was wondering where I get my partner the floor. So I had opened late my business. Okay, and then in my first day of my bakery, I was cooking a cake when my mom came and she was my first client. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Okay. <laughs> did you ask money for your mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, did, she pay, did, did she pay you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I, I did. did. In the bakery of my family, you can buy delicious bread, donuts, etc. Right? Okay. When, when I was when I yep. was eating. All variety, 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 variety. Okay, thank you. Nice, nice. Okay. All variety. Uh, oh, you can use the the other <laughs> variety. How how do you spell? Ba. R. I. The. The funny no. of this is that your next customer will be your dad. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and the next after, sentence is my brother. Uh -huh. Okay. After. Okay. Yeah. And then you go with an E. 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 Yes. T Y. Mm -mm. No. -A -B -A -R -I -E. B A B A R I E T R T T T instead of D. Yeah. Ah. You are not using letter D. Yeah. And a Y. And then a Y. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, okay. When I was eating or whatever. Where is your bakery? Okay. I need a cake. Where is your bakery? 
Don't tell me in Roatan. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. What will be a good name for your bakery? Okay. Okay, continue, continue, please. <laughs> Only selling coffee, coffee and some desserts. Okay. Some desserts. He, uh. he has okay. started his his business because his friend uh, enjoy enjoyed. His, his coffee and dessert. Nice. And they mm -hmm. have decided and, and, and they, they have decided to decide to decide um, um, to help or to help Push him. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he, his business. Nice. Where is this business located? Uh, we, Coffee. Yeah, but where? Where, 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 where is it? Where where, is, where, we don't know exactly. Oh, okay. I would like to become a client. That is why. Yeah, he he looked like a what the word uh, for someone successful. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, continue, please, continue. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he, he met the nurse at the hospital. Oh they got God. married. Yeah. And they were looking an apartment to live together. Okay. <laughs> huh? But also they was thinking they were they were they were they were they were thinking that they had had both a, a home before they got married Ooh, okay mm -hmm. at that time it was late because they don't have the money they didn't have the money they they didn't have the money. remember that all the stories are in the past right because they already happened Okay, very good. Continue. Mm. Miss Lea? Uh, yes. Yes. Jaime? Would you like to add more information? Yes, I shared with my partner and my 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 genus is history in my generation is uh, last night i was planning a company that provides oh. internet links through satellite signal okay they want to uh, live with live in near uh, the company okay. but but they don't didn't have money for for pay 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 to pay to pay to pay, uh, pay, to pay a apartment near to company near the company okay near the company yeah so they decided 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 live in other place more uh, more uh, more cheap okay cheaper cheaper cheaper, cheaper. cheaper. Right? yes more good, cheaper. good. Uh -uh. Do you don't say more you just say cheaper cheaper good okay mm -hmm. wow super nice very good you see clear for you how to how to combine the 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 different tenses in the past for me more or less yes 
for me. The, yes. the past continue and the, and simple, the simple past. past uh, yes, they are easier, but sometimes, I don't know, if yes. we had some problem with the past perfect. <laughs> yes, exactly. But, okay, you have, a, you have a clue in here. Your stories are usually told by using the simple past and past continuous. Those are the main tenses that you, you are using to express a story in the past. So you go with the simple past, past continuous, and then you combine them as you usually do. Okay, but when you are telling your story and you need to insert a piece of information that was previously here, then you go with the past perfect. Otherwise, you are not using them. I mean, it's only like past continuous, simple past, and then you go with your story. If you need to insert that previous piece of information, that's when you are using the past perfect. And, that, and then you leave it like that, like, uh, there, and then you continue with the two tenses. You see? Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. I will share with you the, the PPT that, that I have for this topic. You, have, you will find some links in there in order for you to practice. And I will send you the, the link, right, of the video. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go to okay. the classroom. Good. Yeah, very good. We are back. Super nice. Really interesting stories. Super nice stories. Very good. Very good. Okay. Nice, nice. Very nice stories. Okay. Very good. So we have covered the topics that are included in section four. I will share with you I will send you to the WhatsApp group the PPT corresponding to this week so you can have uh, the, the, the practices that we, that we did and some links for you to practice and the video as well, right? Mm -hmm. And I need you to please continue working on the platform. Go over section five if you want to go to, to the exam. That's perfect, right? And then Monday, we will begin with section five. We are only missing like four video conferences and that's it, right? You will be in the next module. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Super nice. Okay, very good. Um, tomorrow we, you will receive an, a WhatsApp um, asking for your documents for the next module. So be pending about that, all right? Thank you very much. Please work on the platform and see you Monday. We don't have classes today. Thank you, teacher. Thank no, no, no. You, teacher. Friday. Okay. There's no class on Friday. So see okay. you Monday. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Have a great weekend. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Thank night. You.